Today we've got a men's mystery box, so uh, stick around if you want to see what I got. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Megan Gordon Goldstein and I'm a part-time reseller on the Poshmark app. And today I have a men's mixed clothing thread up mystery box for you guys. Here's my invoice. This box came from, this was a, what was this? This was a 10 pound men's mixed clothing box and I paid $44 for it. I ordered this back at the end of November and I'm just opening, I opened it when I got it. I totally forget what's in here. We are going to go through it. I'll show you everything that I got and then at the end, I'll go through the numbers to tell you what I listed everything for and how much total profit I think I can make on this box. This also came from Georgia. So I know some people like to know uh, where these boxes come from and this is a Georgia box. First, we have, this is heavy. This is a kind of like corduroy jacket and this is Polo by Ralph Lauren. I will put the labels, let me move over. I'll put the labels up here as I go through because it's like impossible to show you guys this way. So yeah, it's like a button front jacket. It's got lots of pockets on the front. Ooh, it has elbow patches. I love elbow patches. It doesn't look like there's anything wrong with it. Excellent shape. Oh, what size is it? This is a size extra large. So great size as well. We're off to a good start. This is American Eagle and this is a size extra large. This is called the Vintage Fit and it's just this like striped button in front it seems to be in good condition it's just like blue and white stripes seems to be in good shape a great size for that as well we've got another button front <laughs> this is the brand Morona and Morona is just a target brand this is like a light blue and white striped button front and it's got a pocket here I I mean Maroon is a target brand I'm probably not gonna be able to sell this for much probably listed anyway for like eight or ten bucks let's see we got some khaki pants. What brand are these? Well, I can tell they're a straight fit. Oh, there we are. Hager Clothing? Hager? Hager Clothing Company? It's like a, an H with a little crown on it. I have no idea, but these are some uh, khaki pants. They're a straight fit and they're a size 40 by 34. And they're just like this khaki straight dress pant. They feel all right, seems like a good brand. I don't know, so stick around till the end and I'll let you know what I find after I do some research on these items. Yeah, I have no idea on this guy. Next, we have another button down and this is, <laughs> this is Old Navy and this is a slim fit in a size medium. It's like a heathered gray sort of color. I don't know, it's got a pocket. It's Old Navy, so again, kind of the same as that Morona one. It's in good shape, but how much can you really get for that? Oh, I see some shoes at the bottom. I almost forgot about those. Okay, here, this seems better. Okay, okay. Here we have Under Armour, and it's like a, yeah, it's a quarter zip, kind of color blocked, blue and white. And white's tough, because usually you get some staining on it, but I'm not seeing anything on here. Um, I'll probably run it through the wash anyway, but it's a really nice blue color. Let's see here. What do we have? There's no size up top. Let's look inside. Okay, it's a size small. It doesn't really say if it's like cold gear, heat gear, whatever, but this is one I'll probably be able to find using Google Lens, but I don't know, just like a nice performance quarter zip. We like Under Armour. This is just like a raglan tee type thing. It looks small, just like gray. This is the brand Public Opinion. I don't know what that is, but it doesn't seem like anything exciting. If it is, uh, that would be cool, but I just, it doesn't seem like it. This is a size medium, so that's just a t-shirt. Can't really get that much for like a t-shirt. Okay, this is the last piece of clothing, and then it looks like there are two pairs of shoes. So this is Unipro? I don't know what Unipro is. Un Uni Unipro? I don't know. Uh, but they're like these navy blue jogger sweatpants and they have like different colored blue stripes like halfway down the side they have nice pockets and there's like a a nice elastic waistband in there with a drawstring and it says quick dry these are these are a size 2xl so that's good i just hope the brand is good i don't know anything about unipro guys keep your fingers crossed that that's good unless you already know in which case you're excited for me or laughing at me. <laughs> now we have some shoes. I'm hoping we have something good in there. I don't know with those button downs and um, 
Maybe, I hope that jacket I can sell for like 30 or 40, but we'll, we'll see. These are not really my style. Let's tie them. These are a pair, they look like those bowling shoes. I feel like that style was popular a little while ago, but maybe these are all right now. These are the brand Boss Orange by Hugo Boss. They're just like a navy blue color and they've got a lot of different textures on them. This is probably suede back here with like canvas and then there's like some shinier, maybe patent leather. They seem to be in okay condition. I'm probably gonna suede brush this out. I have a favorite suede brush I use. If you're ever curious like what I use to clean items or things that I just use in my everyday reselling, I always have my Amazon storefront linked below so you can check that out if you're ever curious what exactly I use. But I don't know, these seem worn but in good condition. There are no glaring issues. The soles seem all right. Yeah, I don't I don't know what, ooh, size. Let's see what size these are. 45, is that the size? What's a size 45? Who knows the answer to that, because I don't. Okay, yeah, it's on the bottom there. It says 40, 45 right there. And it's also on the tongue, and I don't see another kind of size anywhere, so. A 45, that seems big to me, but. I don't know, I'll let you know what that like equivalent is because I certainly do not know off the top of my head. So we've got some Hugo Boss shoes. So for our very last item, we've got these guys. These are the brand Tiva. These are in okay condition. Like there's some loose threads and stuff. I don't know if you can see that like coming off the Velcro. I might just run these through the washing machine because they seem just like a little dusty dirty, but they're in like this blue pattern color. It looks like little ocean waves on there, which is kind of cool. Let's see what else is going on here. Let's see what size. Am I really not gonna be able to find size on these? There are 12. Okay, they're size US 12. So we've got some men's Tevas. Uh, let's go ahead and count how many things we got so we can figure out what our cost of goods was when I do the numbers recap. Two, three, four, five, so we got 10 items. I, sh I should be able to make my money back on this. I'm feeling okay about it, but Stick around, we'll get into the numbers next and I'll let you know how it turned out. So let's jump into the numbers. Number one here, we have the Polo by Ralph Lauren corduroy sport coat. And I did a little digging on this. It seems like these coats retail for about $490. Some of them are up to 700, but about 490. The comps for this were all over the place and they sell anywhere from 30 to like $200. So I, I shot a little high on this one and listed it for $150. Number two is the American Eagle striped button front. I mean, it's American Eagle. I listed it for $15. I could sell it probably somewhere between eight and 15. Number three are the Unipro navy blue joggers. From what I can tell, these are sold on like Amazon and they're at Models too, but they don't seem to be a very pricey brand at all. And all the other Unipro sweatpants were listed at $10. So that's what I did. <laughs> I should be able to sell them anywhere from five to ten dollars. Number four are the Hager Clothing Straight Fit Khakis and I asked my husband if he knew this brand and it turns out that Hager is like his favorite dress pant brand so he owns quite a few of these. He said he buys them on Amazon uh, so they're probably like 30 bucks, but I think they retail for higher than that if you were to purchase them at like a department store or something. The the resale value is unfortunately not the best, so I listed these for 15 and should be able to make like eight to 15 bucks on this. Number five was the Marona button front shirt. This is the ultimate shirt and it's a non iron shirt as well. And unfortunately, when I went to photograph this, you can probably see in the photo, there's two little spots on the front and <laughs> It's just really unfortunate. It's a cheap item anyway. I, I listed it for $8. I Maybe I'll sell it for five, but that one's kind of a bummer overall. Number six is the Old Navy Slim Fit button down shirt in gray. I, I didn't really look up comps on this. It's Old Navy. I listed it for $10 we'll probably sell it between five and 10. Number seven is this Under Armour quarter zip, and this is called the Shooter quarter zip. And the only thing I could find on this, it looks like it's kind of like a, a base jacket, and then you can 
purchase it and get it embroidered and stuff like for a company or a sports team or something like that it doesn't seem like you can actually just purchase this quarter zip anywhere which i thought was really interesting so um a lot of the other ones i saw were logoed and stuff but this one's just plain there aren't really any comps on it so i listed it for 25 dollars. it is just like a lightweight quarter zip so i'll probably sell that between 10 and 25 dollars Number eight was the public opinion raglan tee in a size medium. And when I looked this up, public opinion is sold at like Nordstrom Rack. So it is like a Nordstrom brand. Unfortunately, this is still just a t-shirt. So I listed it for $10. We'll probably sell it between five and 10. Number nine were the Boss Orange by Hugo Boss sneakers. And these are the Sylvans sneakers in navy blue. It turns out a size 45 is equivalent to about a US 12. These retail for like $200, which was really surprising to me. Apparently Boss Orange was like Hugo Boss's trendier line, like less classic traditional style and more young and trendy. That's what Boss Orange is. There's also Boss Green, which I think is like young men's. I could be wrong, but I, I think that's right. There weren't any exact comps. There are a few black ones listed. I listed mine for 75. I expect to get anywhere from 25 to 75. So we'll see what happens with those. Number 10 and the final item were these Teva Terrify sandals. These are size 12. They retail for $85. I listed them for 29. There are a lot of these specific sandals available on Poshmark. I expect to get anywhere from 12 to $29 for these sandals. So let's go through kind of a summary. I paid $49.99 for this box. So it was $44.99 plus $5 shipping. There were 10 items in this box and I guess I would say all 10 are sellable. The There's a lot of just lower end cheaper items in here and the Marona shirt had the stains on it. So maybe nine out of 10, but I'm still gonna try and sell them to make, make my money back on this box. And the potential profit on this, I think I can maybe sell everything maximum for about $350. And after fees and cost of goods, that would bring my potential maximum profit down to about $227 if I sell everything for the price that I listed it for. Now on the other end of the spectrum, if I sell everything for those lower end of comps that I mentioned and assume that I sold everything with a shipping discount of $2.12, that would bring my potential profit all the way down to $7. So that's after fees and cost of goods. So I'm not really sure on this box. This was the first box I've had that's been slightly questionable of whether it was worth it. I do like to double my money on these. So essentially I should profit at least $50 on this, but there is a wide range and I did aim high on some of these items to hopefully make up for those lower end pieces in this box. So is it worth it? I, I don't know if this 10 pound box is worth it. it. It's a maybe for me. If I only make $7 on it, that's a lot of time that I spent to make $7. So if I can make at least 50, I would say it's worth it, but only time will tell. So I think that about wraps it up. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up and subscribe down below. If you wanna see more content like this from me, I do have a couple more rescue boxes downstairs to unbox. I have a 25 pound men's box. So kind of this one more than doubled, which is exciting. And then I have another women's mixed box downstairs. That's 25 items and I have another one of those on the way to me. So stick around if you like this sort of content and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Hey guys, welcome back. You're what, fettuccine Alfredo? Yeah, the mozzarella thing and the, um, and the, yeah, yeah, yeah. My hair looks so dumb. I'm so mad. I look dumb. Morona is just a, why am I showing that? Target brand, not great. Sadie Hawkins dance in our khaki pants. I tied them and I can't see the size. Let's see here. Oh my lanta. Holy shkamooly, am I dumb that it's not there? Not maybe next time I did already. Thank you.